Imagine yourself in middle of a battlefield. There are guns firing and explosions going off in the background, and one of your team members get injured. At this point, you have one job. Keep your teammate alive. You might have to resuscitate them, stop their bleeding, manage their pain, whatever you need to do to keep that person alive until the helicopters get there. Intense, right? Well, that's what the combat medics and corpsmen did during the Vietnam War. They kept their teammates alive until the rescue helicopters got there. I'm gonna tell you why that's relevant in just a little bit, but first, let's talk about where did the PA profession even come from? Let's go back in time, shall we? So the year is 1957. World War II just recently happened, and there's a shortage in primary healthcare providers. So there are too many patients and not enough doctors. And then comes Dr. Eugene Stead into the picture. He proposes a brilliant idea and he says, why don't we train some nurses to help out? We can give them additional training and education and have them take an even more active role. I have an idea. What did he say? What does he want? Why don't we train nurses? Okay, that idea is not bad, but training nurses, that relies way too heavily on physicians. It, it's gonna be a no for me. Sorry. D9. Next. The program was actually very successful in the beginning, but it failed the accreditation by the National League for Nursing. And so the program discontinued. But remember those corpsmen that I mentioned in the beginning? Well, a couple years later, those corpsmen started to come back home from Vietnam. So now we have these highly trained war veterans that are experienced in trauma, surgical conditions, and so much more flooding the United States while we're in a healthcare crisis. So Dr. Eugene Stead strikes again. This time he proposes that why don't we train these corpsmen that already have so much experience in healthcare to become certified and take a more active role in helping out with the physician shortage. I have another idea. Oh great, it's him again. Let's hear him out. What does he have to say this time? Why don't we train the corpsmen returning from the Vietnam War? That idea is actually not bad. It's, it makes sense. And we definitely need the help. Okay, you're approved. Okay, All right. Approved. So Dr. Said was already working on developing new curriculum for the undergraduate medical studies. And he also had created a three-year fast track program to train doctors during World War II. So based on his knowledge and experience from that, combined with the new curriculum that he was already developing, he came up with the idea to train these corpsmen with a combination of materials from all of that. So in 1965, eight years after the first attempt, he came up with the idea of physician assistant instead. Get it? Instead, Dr. Stead. <laughs> okay, okay. And then two years later, on October 6, 1967, the first class of PA graduated with a total number of three students. Soon after seeing the success of the first PA program, many other states also followed. And today we have over 250 programs that are accredited by the NCCPA. Coincidentally, October 6, 1967 also happened to be Dr. Eugene Stead's 59th birthday. If October 6 sounds a little familiar, that's because not only is it the graduation anniversary of the first PA class, not only is it his birthday, it is also the National PA Day. Every year, October 6th marks the beginning of the PA week along with it itself being the National PA Day as well. So that was just a very quick history lesson to explain where PAs come from. If you have any other additional questions, please comment them below and I will go ahead and respond to you as soon as I can. Hey fam, my name is also fam and my channel is about all things PA. If you're interested in this career field, please consider subscribing. I will be making videos every single week. Thank you for watching.